I was asked to balance this equation, AS2O3, SNCl2, and HCl. I played with it for a little bit. I think the best way to approach this is as a redox reaction, because then we know we're going to get the answer. So it's a little more work, but it's a little more reliable, I guess I would say. So first thing we do, we write the oxidation numbers for each element. I've done that. If you need help with that, there's a link at the end of this video. Next, you write the half reactions for the species of interest. They're the ones whose oxidation states have changed. That looks like this. So the arsenic, we went from plus three on each arsenic to zero. So this number got smaller. So this was reduced. This is the reduction half reaction. And then the tin, tin went from plus two to plus four. That increased. So this is the oxidation half reaction. So we have our two half reactions here. And now we're going to balance each of these half reactions. And that's why redox is a little easier because you are balancing the half reactions one at a time. So let's balance the atoms of interest first. We have the arsenic, two of those. Leave the oxygens to last. Down here, we could try to balance the tin and the chlorine by putting a two here. That would balance the chlorines, but now we have two tins. So we need to put a two here and we get kind of caught in a loop. The solution is that we have hydrochloric acid here in the reaction. So we should put hydrochloric acid here since this is all, these are the reactants. This is all happening at the same time here. So now we have chlorine and two. So three chlorines, four, let's put a two here. That balances the chlorines. We have one tin and one tin. Now we get to balance the oxygen and hydrogen. For oxygen, we just add water. So three oxygens here. Let's just add three water molecules. We balance the oxygens. No oxygens down here. For hydrogen, we add H plus ions, the hydrogen ion. This is taking place in acetic medium, so we have hydrogen ions available. That's because of the hydrochloric acid up here. Three times two is six, so we could put six hydrogen ions here. That would balance the hydrogens. Down here, two and none, so let's just add two hydrogen ions there. That's done. Finally, we balance the charge by adding electrons. Since we have a six plus here, we could add six negative charges, six electrons. Those are balanced over here. Two positive charges, let's add two electrons, two negative charges, and we've balanced the half reactions. Now we want to balance the overall equation for charge. So if you think about it, right here we have reactants and these over here, these are the products. Six electrons in the reactants and two in the products. That's not balanced. We're trying to balance it both the atoms and the charge here, since this is a redox equation. What we can do is put a three here, and that'll give us three times two, six electrons on this side, six on this side. So three applies to everything, but it, the ratio doesn't change, so that's okay. So here's how we do it. We're gonna add the half reactions together and simplify. So we have all of this and three times all of this. Those are the reactants. The products, this right here, and three times all of this. So that'll look like this. At this point, we've balanced the redox reaction, but we need to simplify because we have six electrons here and six electrons here. In the reactants, we have six hydrogen ions. Again, in the products, we can cross those out. But this is the balanced redox equation, the balanced equation for AS2O3 plus SNCl2 plus HCl. Let me clean this up and we'll have our balanced equation. So this is the balanced equation. If you balanced it by trial and error, you would get the same answer. All of the atoms on each side, they're the same. So this is balanced and the charge is balanced. We see that we have no charge here. These are all neutral. These are all neutral. So you know you have the correct answer. It's a lot more work, but it's a pretty reliable method. This is Dr. B with the balanced redox equation, AS2O3 plus SNCl2 plus HCl. Thanks for watching.